welcome back or welcome to the video my name is Michelle are you the one that says that yes to just everything do you not know how to say no do people come to you because you know that you'll say yes no matter what and do people walk all over you for that I know I used to be like that I used to be the one that would say sure I could do that sure yeah mm -hmm. I remember people asking me, you know, when I was younger, can you watch my kids for this, you know, this week? I don't have a babysitter. And, you know, I really didn't want to watch their kids. They were really, really bad kids. And I said, yeah, sure. And the anxiety would just immediately kick in because I really didn't want to do it. Or somebody would say, um, Michelle, can you play the piano for this event? And I would say, yeah, okay. And the anxiety would immediately hit because I didn't want to do it. I, I really didn't want to do it. And I would just say yes to everybody. Can you, um, like at work, can you do this? You know, can you just go over here and pick up all these kids for me? Because I just, you know, I just need, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And I really didn't want to do it. And the anxiety would hit. That anxiety would immediately hit as soon as I said yes, because I didn't, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Are you that person? Are you that person that just, you know, you, and you feel bad for telling people no, so you never tell anybody no, and your anxiety hits all the time, and it, I used to be that person. So here's what I've learned. First of all, if somebody asks you to do something, stop and tell them, let me think about it. I'll let you know tomorrow. Let me, I'll let you know later. Or let me see, let me check with, you know, my, if you're married, let me check with my spouse. Let me look at my calendar. Let me, you know, let me think about it and I'll get back with you tomorrow. That gives you time to think, you know, and then... I know if, when I started doing this, I would say, let me think about it. And then I would stew about it all night thinking, I really don't want to do this, but how am I going to tell this person no? How am I going to do this? So I would just stew about it, stew about it, stew about it. And then I would say, yes, sure, I'll do it. Well, it got to the point in my life where, you know, I felt like people were using me and I would yeah I didn't want to hurt their feelings and they knew that they knew I didn't want to hurt their feelings so they would just different people would just keep asking me so it got to the point in my life where I would say you know what let me think about it instead of saying yes right away and that anxiety hit because you don't really want to do it just say let me think about it I'll let you know tomorrow and then when tomorrow comes if you really really don't want to do it just tell them no and if they get mad at you they're really not a true friend you know they're really not a true friend if they get mad at you because friends should be understanding friends really should be understanding so tell them no and don't feel bad if they get mad at you uh, that's their problem or if somebody asks you hey do you want to go out Friday night and you're like eh, sure I'll go out you really don't want to go out stop say let me think about it and I'll let you know and that'll give you time to process it because I'm a person I need to process things I don't like things that are just thrown on me if something's thrown on me right away it's just like I get anxiety I get anxiety the minute it hits and I'm like oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do so tell them let me think about it and I'll let you know tomorrow and if you really 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 don't want to go tell them no it's okay to tell people no it's okay to express your feelings and say you know what I really don't feel like going out Saturday night and if they get upset with you because you're not going out it's not your fault it's their fault it's their problem it's their problem 
you know, maybe you could say to them, I'm really sorry that you don't understand my feelings and why I don't want to go out. You know, I just don't, I don't feel like going out or I don't feel like doing this project or I don't feel like watching your kids. You know, maybe you could find somebody else. Tell your friend, maybe it's, maybe it's just too hard for you. And if they don't understand to get upset with you, it's their problem, not your problem. So it's like, not my problem. Don't be the person that gets walked all over. Don't be the person that says yes all the time. Even if you don't mean it, say no. Tell them no. Give yourself time to think about it. And if you really don't want to do it, tell them no. And don't, don't feel bad about it. That's the key. Don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty about it. If that's the way you really feel, you don't want to do something, don't do it. Don't do it. And don't feel guilty about it. All right. Just a little video to just tell you it's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. All right. Well, if you like the video, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And then next to the subscribe button, little bells come up. If you hit that top bell, that is the all. And you'll get all my videos. Lucky you. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next time. Bye.